Today is not about trading, it's about using powerful physics-based insights to understand Bitcoin's next move before it happens. Welcome Giovanni Santastasi. Uh, if you don't know who Giovanni is, he's a PhD astrophysicist whose power law theory unlocks Bitcoin's hidden scaling behavior and reveals the physics driving its long-term trajectory. At Minotaur Trading Systems, we've actually figured out a way to harness Giovanni's theories to inform our very own algorithmic trading system. What that does for us is it gives every decision precision and clarity, and it enables us to actually generate income from the price action and movement of Bitcoin daily, weekly, monthly. Enables that income generation without stress, without guesswork, and without waiting years for returns. So let's dive in and make the most of today's event. So welcome, Juhan. First of all, I like this uh, uh, picture because uh, basically this is what I'm trying to do, right? I'm trying to be like the Galileo of Bitcoin. Right? And um, it's actually the another day, a bit of a joke, but I'm asking everybody, say, you know, Galileo was a uh, famous to tell people, look, if you don't believe in the things I've said, like, for example, Venus has phases, right? So it means that he goes around the sun, has to do like that. He was like, come and look at my telescope, right? Many people didn't want even to look at this telescope because they thought, you know, it's kind of magic or something like that. And the few people that did, they would say, actually, that telescope was made by the devil, you know, to deceive us, right? It's really true. And so many people react to the power law like that because they think uh, maybe it's coincidence or whatever, right? But it's not coincidence. It's all math. 10, 12 years ago, you could make 10 pair in a year. Anybody knows what is the rate of uh, growth of Bitcoin? What is the uh, annual percentage that you get by holding Bitcoin in average of right now? 42 percent. In fact, we can calculate it. I give you a formula if you want to write it down, if you want to use it. Anybody wants to try? In fact, well, let's do it to, today together as an exercise. And the formula is like this. You open parentheses, another parentheses, and then you write down the age of the coin. Right now it's 16 years old, right? So you can do it in days, we can do it in years. So let's use these years. It's 16 years, right? 16 years, but you add one. So 16 plus one, so it's 17, right? And that you divide it by 16. This is our formula course. And then you close the parentheses and use that. But you need to use a scientific calculator. So the little carrot sign, and you do 5.82. And what do you get, anybody? 1.42 you should get this is what you should get 1.42 what that means that basically that is a growth 1.42 times it is 42 percent right right now bitcoin is 42 percent let's move on like, can you find out how many days today from january 3 2009 we can test this formula let's see how what this formula tell us the price of bitcoin is today if i thousand nine hundred ninety days Let's use this, basically the formula says, like this is how power law looks like. It's basically any relationship where you have Y, you have some constant, then X, whatever it is. In our case, this is price and this is time to the power of N. And N is 5.83, okay? And A is that very small number. So 10 to the minus 13 simply means zero, 16 zeros, one. Why? Well, let's test the, the form of first form, day one, right? Let's go back here. I put one, because that was, we are calculating the price at day one, right? Let's calculate it now. Let's put that 5,990 days. So after almost 6,000 days, we get which price? Anybody? Stand up first. That's 100. Five thousand two hundred ninety-two dollars. One at five point nine. Yeah. No way. Yeah. 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 So it's crazy, right? It's crazy, and this formula has been working for years and years and years. 